Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. In this video, we are looking at the Wednesday NBA slate. We have a crazy 13 game slate today. So there is a ton of stuff that's going to come up on the slate, whether that be late news, late injuries. We already have a bunch of players that are um, already out for this slate. You have a bunch of guys that are missing for protocol reasons. So it's going to be a crazy one, but let's get into it. A lot better than the two gamer we had yesterday. I definitely would still prefer this type of slate than a two gamer, but let's get started. As always, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out Price Picks. Check out the website, Twitter, all in the description. Starting off with the point guard plays today. I'm not going to run through every single player. Just kind of run through each group of players. So the guys at the top end, um, I like Harden um, slightly more than Luka. Even though Luka did have a great game last time out. But Harden without Durant. Just him and Kyrie running the show right now. It is a pretty good spot against Washington. LeBron looks good. He's had a couple of... Of not great games fantasy wise, uh, as West, Russell Westbrook has finally stepped up a little bit uh, last game with that big dunk on Gobert and leading them to win at the end. Uh, but I think LeBron is probably due for a big game. Indiana plays no defense at all, so like LeBron, don't want to pay 98 or 97 for Young or DeJounte Murray. Definitely like Ky Kyrie Irving now that he's going to be the second option without Durant and maybe even the first option at times. So, and they will also split some time with him and Harden on the court together. So I like Irving. I like Garland a little bit. Don't really like Westbrook, Bradley Beal. John Moran is playable just because they are missing some bodies. But, you know, he's typically going to be in the 30s. Sometimes if he has great games, he'll be in the 50s. But even with some guys out, I would like to get to the value picks on Memphis before I pay up for, like, John Morant. Other plays, Van Fleet's price tag has come down. He's just $8,600. He still gives you a big upside, so he wasn't really playable when he was like 10 k uh, but now that he's back to 86 definitely worth shots in tournaments. SGA looks good, always at 84 in this sort of price tag. And then going further down in the 7 k range, you don't have much here. Maybe you can look to like, uh, like Rozier or Brogdon if he plays, but Brogdon's risky. I think the best option would probably be um, like maybe Lavert at 79, or even like Cole Anthony right at 7K flat. No Kyle Lowry today, so you're going to be looking at some of the Miami value if you wanted to. You already have a lot of other value in some other spots because Donovan Mitchell is out for the Jazz today, so Mike Conley will get a nice solid bump, even though he might not play like 35 minutes today. You know, more usage in the 32 to 33 minutes that he will play. He's only 6K. You have Dasimu, who's back-to-back -back big game from him. He's played 39 minutes averaging the last two games. And even if they get Caruso back, there's still a lot of minutes to be had just because Caruso still probably be a little bit limited. I don't think he'll push him for like 40 minutes or like 35 minutes right out of the gate. And Dawson, he's played very well. He's going to, I would expect him to probably still start uh, the way that he's been playing. And you also have some other guys like uh, $5,500 Jordan Clarkson looks appealing. And in the 4K range, you have Gabe Vincent at 45. He's going to be a pretty solid option at that price tag. You have Davion Mitchell without Halliburton is going to get more minutes. And he, just depending on if his shot's falling, can be a good source of value. And then in the 3K range, you have Tyus Jones at 39 without uh, a couple of guys on the Grizzlies. They still have Dylan Brooks is out. And then Desmond Bain is also out today. So probably see like mid-20s in minutes for Tyus Jones. Uh, but the best value would be... DeAnthony Melton at only $3,700 going to be starting in place of, I'd uh, expect him to be starting in place of Desmond Bain, probably see like at least mid-20s and minutes, probably possibly low 30s, and the price tag is just too cheap for him. At shooting guard, your best pay-up options are definitely Kyrie. I like him more than Bradley Beal. I like him more than LaMelo Ball. In the 8K range, look at Van Fleet at 86, uh, 7K range. Nothing crazy. Maybe you can take some shots on Levert on like Russell or Edwards for tournaments, but they are one of only, I think, one of a couple teams on a back to back, or maybe the only team on a back to back. I'm not sure. Only four teams played yesterday. But other guys would that look appealing in the 6K range would be Kobe White, Dennis Shooter, depending on if Marcus Smart is still out for Boston. You have a good price tag on Derek White, and it is a good matchup. Just, uh, Tough game for them against the Phoenix. They were leading at the end of the third, but thankfully they ended up losing that game um, as that helped me win the parlay. But White still looks appealing at that price tag. He still gives you big upside. And then I look to Dasimu at 58. Just with the minutes that he plays, I think you can plug him in and feel pretty good about you know, getting him at a sub-6K price tag. Even with the increase in his price tag, I think it's been 
definitely been deserving. Other players would be Will Barton at 56, just a solid option. And then I like Terrence Davis at 53. He's always been productive when he stepped up in place of guys that have been injured for the Kings this year, even with the Raptors in years past. He's been productive, and first start that he had in quite some time, he put up 41 fantasy points, played 37 minutes. It was a great matchup against Houston. Is another fine matchup against Detroit, who's also on a back-to-back -back today. So you can plug him in at two spots. I think he's going to continue to be at least a 6x, if not more. Producer tonight, 4K range. You're looking at Davion Mitchell, 47. Max Drews, 42. Ross for tournaments, 43. Korkmaz, 43. And in the 3K range, you're basically looking at Joe Ingles, 37. Without uh, Donovan Mitchell, he'll be starting. Small forward, your payups, LeBron, Tatum, Butler. I like LeBron, then Butler. Probably would pass on Tatum's $9,400 price tag. If going with the mid-range play here, you have OG Ananobi at 65, Scotty Barnes at 64. They both look appealing at their price tags, especially if Gary Trent continues to miss. Not too many great options in like the 5K range, you know, but two met a monster game in the second half, but that definitely don't want to be playing him. He had his best game offensively in like 10 years. Uh, in the value range, you have a couple of guys like Struess, and definitely you can look to uh, Joe Ingles at only 37. Gets more usage for all these Jazz players. You're getting a great price tag on Ingles. Even though he's been very bad this year, point per minute wise and fantasy wise. Uh, if you give him 30 minutes, he still probably gets you 6x value. Uh, he's still been shooting the ball well. He's just not been doing anything peripheral wise. So that's been the main issue for him. Power forward. Looking to pay off for Giannis. He's the only guy above... 10k besides Sabonis definitely like Giannis against uh, Memphis should be a fun game to watch have a bunch of guys that look appealing mid-range wise you have Porzingis at only 78 he only played 28 minutes last game he didn't even um, close either which was surprising but maybe they're still trying to get his minutes back up but he looks fine at his price tag but you have some better plays here especially um, a couple of guys in the 6k range you have Tobias at only 67 his price tag has come way down after he fouled out last game and then Jaron Jackson at only 66 just going to be the you know more usage for him on offense more shots he's been racking up the blocks like crazy blocks and steals master chance for you know double double depending on how many minutes he plays and the price tag is just a little bit too cheap Milwaukee gives up a lot of threes hopefully they don't have Giannis on him because he'll foul out in five minutes hopefully they put like maybe Steven Adams on Giannis or something like that, because you know, they have Jaron Jackson or Portis. That would make some sense. But, you know, Jackson plays a normal minute, 66. is still a very nice price tag, you know, given that they're missing a couple of their key offensive players. And then you're looking at some value picks here. Would Maybe you can look to some of these Utah guys, like probably like O'Neal over Rudy Gay at 47, but he's not much of a high usage player. 3K range, you have like... Niang, but not too much else. At center, Jokic looks to be a great payup. He's going up against the Clippers, who he has had a lot of success against this year, averaging 62 fantasy points. No, he's at home. You have uh, Zubats trying to slow him down. Serge Ibaka trying to slow him down. It's not going to really work. So I think all three of these guys are playable. Jokic, Giannis, Embiid. I don't really want to go with Sabonis when I have those guys right there. Cat, I think, can probably find some other options when he's on a back-to-back -back here. I do like Gobert a little bit at 85 without Mitchell, just some more usage. He's going up against uh, Houston, which you know, could be a blowout. But without Mitchell, maybe a little better chance that it stays close. Gobert should destroy this front court. They give up a ton of easy looks at the basket. They also turn the ball over at a big clip. And I think you can get some a bunch of blocks against these uh, guards trying to drive in the paint against him. So for right now, 85 for Rudy Gobert. I'm going to plug his price tag in. And then last guy, you have a number of guys that you can pick from, but I'll give you guys another value pick so you can pay up for whoever, whichever stud you want to do because there's a bunch of stars on the slate. But if I go with Dawson, you at 58. Still think he's going to get big minutes today going up against the Cavs and Darius Garland. He's a great defender. Probably have him out there for at least 30-plus minutes, even with Caruso back. And he's been contributing in points, rebounds, assists, doing a little bit of everything, steals, you know, maybe a block here and there. And, you know, 58 is still pretty good value, I say, if he is able to get you at least 30 fantasy points, if not a little bit more than that. 
Uh, if you're not feeling him, you can go with like Clarkson, similarly priced, um, or go a little bit up to like Mike Conley. But feel fine going with B6 and leaving it with $8,200 left. For DraftKings, uh, that's it for DK. Let's go over to FanDuel. All right, for FanDuel, you have a ton of options here. You have a lot of cheap plays as well, a point guard wise. I mean, in all these positions. But starting off with point guard, you can go with Luca at 10 8. I like him more than DeJounte Murray. 9K range, I like John Morant. 8K range, I like Kyrie. Uh, you can go down a little bit to like Van Fleet or even Garland. Even though Garland's price, priced up, he's still been producing at an insane clip. In the 7K range, Westbrook is down to 75. I mean, you can take some shots with Westbrook given how cheap he is on FanDuel. Uh, the 6K range, you have Cade is very cheap at only $6,000. Max, he's been playing huge minutes for the Sixers. He's only 62. In the 5K range, you have Dennis Schroeder if there's still no Marcus Smart. You have Conley, Colby White, Clarkson. So many great cheap plays across the board. And even you even have more in the 4K range and 3K range. You have Tyus Jones. Maybe you can take a shot on Caruso for tournaments at only $4,500, but then you have De'Anthony Melton at only $41. So just too many cheap plays on FanDuel and too many options, but I think Melton is your best bet in terms of a value pick. Shooting guard, I like Harden more than Luka today. I like Jimmy Butler still without Kyle Lowry. More assist opportunities for him. Kyrie looks good at 89 You even have some other value picks here, so I think you can kind of go cheaper at the point guard and shooting guard position and pay off for some of the studs at small forward, power forward, and center because uh, we haven't even gotten to the main guys here. But Cade is very cheap at 6000 You know, Truder, Kobe White, they look appealing. Will Barton is only 57 You even have other plays uh, going further down in the 4K range here. Uh, Trent is right at 5K if he happens to play. But in the 4K range, you have Caruso is 45 but even a better pick would be Dasamu. At $4,200, just way too cheap for the way that he's been playing. Should be still be looking at over 30 minutes. And you know, if he does manage to have like another high 30s, 40-point game, you're definitely going to need him. Uh, small forward, you now you can get to some of the studs if you wanted to. You have Giannis, LeBron, and Harden. They're all playable. I think maybe you can go Harden, then Giannis, then LeBron. Got to rank them. Butler makes a case at 91. You have Chris Middleton been playing great without Drew Holiday. And then you would have some more value at this position if you wanted to plug in another cheap play. The first guy I would do is in the below 4K. I mean, the 4K and 3K range, you have a couple of guys. The first guy is Terrence Davis at 44, just too cheap, starting in place of Halliburton. Then you even have Joe Ingles, who is only like 37. So he's playable on both sides. Uh, power forward is probably a spot that you can pay up, especially with some of the guys like Jaron Jackson being priced up. Porzingis being priced up, so not much value like they are on DraftKings. Now give me Giannis or LeBron. doesn't really matter who you want to get to. If you have 300 more, get up to Giannis. If not, get to LeBron. I think both are both are at home playing in pretty fine spots here. And just a matter of who you feel better about. And at center, you know, give me Jokic at 11.5. You just have so much value on these other spots that you're going to be able to pay up for Giannis and pay up for Jokic at center. And you can still get to Gobert if you wanted to do that. But I don't really see myself going with the value play at center just because there's so much value at the other spots. That just give me Jokic. If he goes for 70, 75, feel great about that. If he doesn't, you know, maybe he still gets you 60 and these other value picks go off for like 7, 8x and you, know, you still have a shot to you know, play as highly. So that's it. A lot of great options today. It's going to be a fun slate. Um, as always, stay tuned to the news. Thank you for watching. Best of luck and I will see you all next time.